couple of years ago, just before Thanksgiving, I made a crocheted turkey pattern. You can see him here. This year I've gotten a few questions on how to make the turkey's legs in this pattern. And since I had a couple of questions about the same part, I thought maybe I would just make a quick video to show how to do that. Sometimes it's easier to show how to do something rather than just write it, and so hopefully this will make it easier to understand. This pattern is one that I originally made for Fairfield World, so you can find it on their website, fairfieldworld.com. And if you click on the Inspiration tab and then on Projects, you'll be able to find this. I will also add the link to the description below the video, and you can also find it on my blog, fivelittlemonsters.com. So for this, we're going to be focusing on step number six, which is the feet of the turkey. And the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, once you've gotten your yarn on your hook, is you're going to chain three. And then you're going to double crochet in the first chain. And then you're going to chain one. and then slip stitch in that first chain. That makes your first toe, and you're going to want three toes. So you're going to repeat that again, chain three, and then double crochet in the first chain, chain one, and then slip stitch in that same chain. And that's your second toe, and then third time, chain three, double crochet in the first chain, and then you're going to chain one and slip stitch in that same chain. And this gives you your three toes that you need for the turkey's foot. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to start the leg. So you're going to chain one, and then you're going to be working back across, going the other direction across the top of those three chains that you started. You're going to single crochet in each of those chains that you worked your double crochet and your slip stitch into. So that's the first one, and then the second, and then in the top of the third. So that gives you three single crochets, and that's going to be the front of your leg. Then you're going to chain three, and this is going to become the back of your leg. So you're going to work around now in rounds, so you're going to just keep working in the same direction, working across the front of that leg. So your next round, what you're going to do is you're going to work one single crochet, in the top of each of those three single crochets across the front of the foot. So there's one, two, and three. And then for the back of the leg, you're going to continue single crocheting, but you're going to work the next three single crochets into that chain three. So you're going to single crochet in the first chain, and then the second, and the third. And that completes your next round, so that's the first round of your leg. Now to continue, you're just going to continue working six single crochet, three across those single crochets in the front, and then three around the back. and then that will complete another round on your leg. And you just keep doing that, working six single crochet around in a spiral, three across the front, three across the back, until you get to the length that you need for the leg, which is 
nine rows total. And then it's going to be long enough for the turkey leg. So you can see you've got a few rows there. And the leg is a tube. It's open on the top and the bottom. You can see on the turkey. It's not closed up at the bottom of the leg, but the legs just the way that they hang there, it doesn't really matter. They're not stuffed or anything. So you just keep going until you get to the right length. And that's how you make the feet for your turkey. Sometimes written instructions can be a little bit confusing, so hopefully this video helped clear up any confusion that there may have been. And again, you can find the free crochet turkey pattern on fairfieldworld.com. Feel free to contact me with any more questions you may have, and hopefully I'll be able to help.